Hello. Hello. It's a rainy summer's day in Melbourne. Yes. Typical. And it is a perfect weather for hot, hot pot. pot. We're doing another affordable versus expensive hot pot edition. Yes. Let's go. Let's see. So, the first hot pot restaurant that we're visiting is called Dragon Hot Pot. Yes, and the average price for two people here is $60. $60. That is quite affordable. And what I love about this hot pot restaurant is that the soup broth is absolutely amazing. And there's a lot of things that you can choose from and we'll show you how it works inside. Yes, this place is quite different. It doesn't work like your typical hot pot place. You don't order meat and ingredients off a menu. You actually pick and choose, kind of like a Froyo place. So you choose your favorite meats, your favorite ingredients, you give it to the chef and he cooks it up for you and you get a bowl of delicious noodles. And you pay by the weight. Yeah, okay, let's go. Welcome to Dragon Hot Pot. As you can see, it's very busy, very popular, and the food smells amazing. I can smell that delicious, meaty, spicy broth. Look at this place, very Chinese, absolutely love it. All right, it's time to order. We'll show you how this place works. So oh, yes, sanitizer hand sanitizer. Hand, there's hardly any left, oh, yeah. that's okay. So, first up, you grab a pot. There's your hot pot, guys. I love this. It's like a Korean uh, pot that you put your shin ramen in. Here, you get to choose from uh, various types of meat. So you have beef, lamb, beef. and pork, and chicken, right. pretty much. So I'm gonna grab beef. Here are all the other ingredients that you choose from. You chuck it into the pot, and then you weigh it, and that's the cost of your meal. So really, it just depends on how much of a fatty you are for the average cost here. But if you're a light eater, it is quite affordable. If you're a Delena, it is a luxury. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this hot pot was affordable. Now it is expensive. <laughs> Look at all these ingredients that we can choose from. You got cheese, tofu, beef balls. Spam ham. Look at that, that's a strange color ham, isn't it? These are my favorite things to Tofu eat. Tofu fish cake, absolutely delicious. The whole bunch of fresh seafood as well, from clams, crab, scallops. Here's a little smart, very interesting technique on saving money. What you do with the clams are, you just take the clams and leave the shells in. Because the shells are heavy. True. And it costs more money if you do that. That is correct. All right, I know, I've been here a few times. <laughs> and of course I need udon. <laughs> yes, udon. Love udon. Usually I get two, but I just get one today. <laughs> Not three, are you sure? Whole bunch of different noodles that you can choose from too. Handmade noodles, shin ramen noodles. There you go. That's what you need. Here, more ingredients. Look at that. Shiitake mushrooms, carrots, brando, more tofu, and a whole bunch of different drinks. I will get some tofu as well. Okay, go Do they have normal tofu, the white silicon tofu? White tofu. They have a potato. Oh no, that's baby corn. No. Really? That's potato. That's potato, dude. That's a potato. How's that's that a baby corn? <laughs> it's, that, it's, that, it's that one. Once you get all your ingredients and you put it in the pot, you go over here, they weigh it here, and they ask you what type of soup base you want. So you can get mala spicy, you can get malaban, Sichuan, vegan, no, 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 no. But my favorite is this one, the collagen bone broth. Look at that. Man, it is delicious. My turn for the delicious dragon hot pot. My favorite meat, my type of protein has to be the lamb because it is oh so fatty. When you go to an affordable hot pot place, the beef is a little bit chewy, so you want something soft and full of fat, and that's what you get from the lamb. I think that's enough. You can never go wrong with lamb at hot pot. I'm gonna go for the seafood. Like, like I said, I'm gonna take that scallop out. Let me see. Oh, they're a bit stuck on. Wow. Just wow. Chinese sausage, a few of these fish balls. Oh, I love these. Mushroom pork balls, they're bomb. One of my favorite things are hot pot. Seafood's good, but it's quite expensive, but I will get one muscle, you know? Trying to get my muscles big, so gotta eat the muscles, right? Now to the noodle section and vegetables. I'm just gonna skip all that. I'm gonna go straight to the noodles. I think I want the handmade noodles. I'm gonna grab some pork liver to keep it real Chinese. 
Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. This is actually quite delicious. And it keeps refilling as well. So you'll never find much of the food library empty. I want mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Inoki mushrooms, one of my favorite. Bang, chuck that in. Shiitake mushroom. And a king mushroom for King Chan. Oh wow, they have a Chinese donut. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'll chuck it in too. And I think that's pretty much my hot pot. I'm going to get the collagen bone broth. What are you getting, babe? Spicy? Yeah. Trust me when I say this, Dragon Hot Pot have one of the best soup broths for a very affordable price. Absolutely love it. We're gonna pay now and we're gonna eat and show you what it's all about. So this is my pot, looking really good. And this one's Elena's. Now we're going to pay for it and weigh it. So we get our number and now they're gonna take it to the back to cook. And then the delicious bowl of noodles will come to our table. I'm excited. So for two people, it costs $53.54. Yes. What an affordable hot pot. As you can see, we are taking it easy today since we have to eat more hot pot yes. tonight. So yeah, mine is $31. Right. John's really taking it easy because his is only $19. <laughs> well, the thing is, um, I don't really love hot pot as much as you do. It is pretty dang good here though, because I love that soup. I want to take that soup home and just eat it with rice. And what drink did you get? Oh yes, I got my... We didn't get a Coke Zero today, guys. Yeah, I am not watching my way today. I'm going for the, uh, what's I say? Wang Liao Ji. Jokes, I just read the English at the bottom. It is a herbal tea drink and I absolutely love it. Very sweet and delicious too. Another thing I forgot to mention is that you don't actually have to get a soup base. You can stir fry all the ingredients in the pot as well. So that's another option you can choose from at Dragon Hot Pot. And here is my Dragon Hot Pot, a collagen beef broth. As you can see, very meaty. I got myself some handmade noodles, very delicious. Got Chinese donut. They also put some pickles in it for me. And as you can see, very pretty. The chef has done a really good job with this, uh, making sure it looks aesthetically pleasing. First, we're gonna try that beef broth. Cheers. Oh, wow. It's so meaty. It really does taste like the beef. The bones have been cooking in a pot for hours, days just marinating, just soaking up into that soup. And that's what I'm getting a delicious spoonful of. Oh my God. Next up, we got the lamb. This is the standard lamb that you get at any Asian grocery where they put it in the packets. It costs probably only four to five bucks. Mm. Not bad. Oh yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice. It's the soup that really does it for me. Just everything else, the ingredients, the meat, the meatballs, not too bad. But I come here for the soup. And that soup is just soaked up in everything from the mushrooms, from the Chinese donut and all these balls. I personally prefer this style of hot pot. I know it's not your traditional, you know, you get the meat, you put it in, you enjoy yourself. I like how this is efficient, quick, and you just pretty much get your bowl of noodles and eat. It's fun because you get to order from the side and once you get the food out, easy. Don't have to cook anything. All I have to do is eat. Mmm. Dragon hot pot. Pulsy. Oh, thank you. Now that is a big serving of noodles and it looks very spicy. Look at that. Oh, wow. Is this making your mouth water, Chinese people? I'm actually curious. Why is it just Chinese people? <laughs> Why are you targeting to just Chinese people? I don't know, because like Chinese people love that Sichuan spiciness. Uh, everyone else, maybe not so much. Like when I see that, it doesn't make me hungry. It's not something I would usually eat. Whereas you love your spice. Yes. You love the heat. So that is definitely making your mouth water, right? Yes, it actually is. I'm like, I'm just ready to devour the whole thing. So that's how much you get for about $30. It's not too bad. It's that like, is pretty good. It's pretty good. It smells so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just like so thick and spicy and fatty. Yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> perfect weather to eat hot pot. Yes, it has been raining in Melbourne during summer. I don't know what's going on, but it is typical Melbourne. We're known to have four seasons in one day, so udon noodles. God, you know what? Every time you eat udon, it makes me very hungry. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, so good. It's like warming up my belly. I mean, hot pot is the best to have on a cold day, especially during winter. It's our go-to. Ooh, look at that. Layers of fat in that soup. So thick, decadent, yum. Welcome back to Delaina's Dragon Hot Pot Mukbang, where she feasts on fatty chili udon noodles. I mean, look at those udon noodles. That's already better than um, that Japanese place we went to last week. It looks thicker. Oh, yeah, yeah. it is. It yeah. is really thick. Compared to the first affordable Japanese restaurant we went to. And just like the soup and the spice sticks onto the noodles, and each strand that you put into your mouth. It just slides into your belly and then it's just dancing in your belly. Oh man. I really can't get enough of these pork mushroom balls. They are delicious. An explosion of flavor. We usually always do hot pot at home. But when we're feeling lazy and we just want something quick and fast, we don't have to clean up after. We just go here every time. I think we go here more than we go to normal, traditional, regular hot yeah. pot places. Oh! <laughs> don't get any of that red soup on you. Basically, that's pretty much the collagen bone broth with spices on top, right? Because it is, it is quite similar in color if you mix this around, but you try this. How's that? <laughs> it's like... Too meaty? It's so clean and very meaty. It just like has no spice to it at all. But it depends what you like, you know, if you like spice or non-spicy. Oh, you have to try mine. Let's see if you like mine. <laughs> this is why, oh, oh. So film your reaction. Oh. This is why I don't have spicy hot pot. Yeah, but your spice tolerance is pretty low. I highly recommend you getting a Chinese donut if you're going to Dragon Hot Pot because that donut really soaks up all that soup. It's insane. The liver, um, really tough, overcooked. Not the greatest thing you can see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's mad. Her face turned as red as her suit. <laughs> She's not happy. I'm just minding my own business, enjoying my meal, and you have to drop some liver in my soup bowl. In China, that is a sign of affection. Really? No. I don't know. <laughs> no. Alright guys, we're gonna finish up now and we'll see you after for our official review. Quail eggs, so good. Wow. Bye. And that was Dragon Hot Pot, a fun, efficient way to eat delicious, hot, spicy soup. Very, very good. My review, I come down for the soup. That's why I'm here. The soup is the highlight. The only way Dragon Hot Pot could really push it to the next level for me is if they had a premium menu. Although the ingredients still decent, mm -hmm. not the best, but a yeah. great place to go if you want a cheap hot pot. Yeah, exactly. It's mm. not mm. amazing, but it is delicious for the price. Yes, the price that you pay. Now it is time to try a traditional, real hot pot place. Ooh. Expensive, triple dollar sign, let's do it. My wallet, I'm sorry. We'll see you right there. Okay, ready, go. Bye. We're here. We've been teleported to the city of Melbourne and it's time to eat our pricier hot pot. Yes, we're here at Panda Hot Pot mm. and the cost for two people here is 80 to $100. Ooh, times that by three when we come and visit. Let's go try some real delicious hot pot. It 
It is now time for the tour of Panda Hot Pot and this place looks like an imperial Chinese palace. Look at that. The interior, this is real luxury right here. This Incredible. This is like another level. I yeah. can't imagine that we're in Melbourne right now. Yeah, for sure. It does not feel like it. I mean, look at this. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, <gasps> oh Zodiac? Oh, must be there. There you go. Ready? You are the year of the, what are you, a pig though? Monkey. No, monkey. monkey. You're a monkey. Oh, but really you're a rooster. Let's do mine. I am the year of the horse, but, and we got distracted clearly. Oh, that's oh, me. Oh, the monkey. We're desperate. Pretend, pretend that spin was you. So this place is massive. There are two levels. Here you got a whole bunch of people eating hot pot right now. We're going to go upstairs and check it out. This place is the hot pot hotel. That's what it feels like. It actually like. is a hot pot hotel. If there were like rooms where you could sleep, you could come out to eat, go back to sleep and then eat again. That would be a hot pot heaven. Look at the so view nice. from up here though, when you just stand here and yeah. look down. This feels like when you go to Crown Casino and you see the dragon during Chinese New Year. This is so insane. Yeah, they must have spent a lot of money for this interior design because it is next level for a hot pot restaurant. Wow. Very luxurious, wow. that's for sure. You've got this, this. straight from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Wow, that Empress. Oh yeah, girl, you're looking real good. So this is where people have their VIP banquets. There's a nice big table oh here with uh, Shang Shui. It's Chinese so pretty, Empress. I love the interior. Yeah, it's really it cool. Look at this, Chinese anime. These webtoons, all right. Anime. <laughs> it's so nice. It's like I stepped into the Chinese dynasty. Yeah, I feel like I'm in like a Jackie Chan movie. Is that Jackie racist? Jackie Chan? Maybe not. Is that racist? <laughs> Maybe not Jackie Chan movie. Maybe more like a Chinese drama, pretty okay, much. Yes, yes. This is like the outdoor area where, you know, they try to poison wow. the queen with uh, oh, a yeah. poison tea. And with the Vietnamese dub. Oh, if yeah, you guys have your Vietnamese, Vietnamese parents that watch the Chinese drama with the Vietnamese dub, it you'll know. To, yeah, you'll yeah. know. We need the Vietnamese dub. This place is insane. Anyway, we came here for the food, but. It's starting to become something completely else. It feels like I'm teleported not into Melbourne, but into a new country. Look at that! Wow! Shall we go to our table? Yes, let's yes, go. Yes, let's go. That's the most important part. Oh, yeah. Oh, I I mean, the attention to detail is just on another level. You got Chinese weapons over here. Really, this is a go-to. Already, I already know, you have to yes. come here if you are visiting Melbourne and you want some hot pot and you wanna feel the taste of China. Yo, this is really authentic Chinese. A Christmas tree. <laughs> this is where we this are sitting today. our table. Wow, look at that. The peasants live here, you know. <laughs> Upstairs are where the real yes. royalty are. The peasants so stay we'll here. Stay and this here. is who we really are. This place is absolutely incredible. Yes. I've never been to such an amazing, luxurious Chinese hot pot. I mean, this is, I, I'm speechless almost. Walking into this restaurant feels like being transferred to another universe. It is amazing. And yeah. we haven't even eaten yet it by the interior. It feels like we're like traveling interior. again. And like yeah. overseas. Mm, mm. I mean, I could just explore. I, I, I think I spent an hour just walking around this restaurant, finding new things. Now it is time for the food. That's what we came here for. Yes, it's guys. the hot pot. So we're gonna order a few or many things off many the things. Hot, hot menu. You know we gotta do it right. Yes. You know, the place looks nice, but is the food nice? That is what we're here right, for. Okay. But even so, even if the food was average, I would still... It would still be good. It would still be good, yeah, because it just... Yeah, the atmosphere, the place where we're at is just like, oh my god. Anyway, first thing we want to grab is this. The signature combination, which is a whole bunch of meat, beef. Are there seafood in there? It's in a treasure box, like a Chinese, uh, almost like a jewelry box from ancient China. Incredible. It's a one piece treasure. <laughs> so right. the combination box uh, includes all of these. It's like a little bit 
of oh, all their signature of dishes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And for the soup base, I got spicy. Yep. And I got mushroom. Got mushroom. I went for mild and Delano went for that spice because apparently here the spice levels are a lot higher. They do like the strong Sichuan spice. Yeah. So if you're a spicy lover, this is for the real Chinese or the yeah. spice lovers. Wait, you, you tick off the menu? Yeah, because they gave us a pen and then there's like oh, boxes that you can just tick. So this is a menu that you can tick off yeah. what you want. Yeah. That is quite fancy. That is very fancy actually. Wow, it's usually on a little strip of paper, like That's a young child piece of paper where you tick off the things. But here, they've got pictures, prices, I know, everything. I don't even want to draw on it. Yeah, I just want to take it home, stick it on my wall like a poster. Anyway, I want lamb. Okay, what else? You want lamb, lamb is my favorite thing to get at hot pot restaurants. They have a combination of beef and lamb. So okay. we should do that. Let's do that. I am going to try. <laughs> oh my god, I can feel the spice. It's from the Coming in. it's from the pot from next door. She just smelt the steam and it's already oh, giving I'm her scared of a my bit of a cough. Now. I mean, yeah. I love spicy food. Well, I just can't do it because if I'm filming and you guys are watching me eat, I'm just gonna be coughing the whole entire time, and it's not good. So I was saying I'm gonna get the prime snowflake beef slices because that sounds very interesting. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Okay. It has like. 8 seconds, 30 seconds, 3 minutes. Does that mean oh, how long time. it takes for the dish to come out? What does the time oh, wait. mean? Or does that mean how long, how long you have to cook it for? It for? Yeah. Oh. I don't think... <laughs> Alright, look at this. Chopsticks, some panda hot pot. What is this? A drink? Oh, is this like the tea? I think it's like that tea that I always drink. Oh no, it's oil. Oh, this is oil. This is chili oil. <laughs> Lucky I didn't drink it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think it's like uh, the chili oil that you can put into a like a bowl or plate and you dip your meat inside. No way. I thought it was uh, the herbal tea that I drink. <laughs> I was going to one-shot it. Uh, that one is the um, sesame oil. It's too yeah. mixed with your sauce and it can cut down the spicy level. Okay. Yeah, when yeah. you order the soup base and you think it's too much yeah. spicy, you oh, can use the okay. Okay. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Very helpful. I've never seen Delena so concentrated. It looks like she's studying, studying for food. <laughs> I've actually never seen you with a pen and paper. <laughs> Looking so concentrated my whole life. If you guys are joining us now, you probably think this is a studying or like a library episode, but it's just Delena looking through a menu. Here is our hot pot. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. Look at that. Nice little dragon here. So I got myself the mushroom soup and it already comes with a whole bunch of inoki mushrooms, shiitake. Uh, Delane is this, this <laughs> that's mild? <laughs> Wait, that's mild? Are you sure? Isn't that a Chinese volcano? That looks like some lava. Oh, smells wow. so good. Yin and yang, that's pretty much what it is. That I'm is very excited. <laughs> Opposites attract, girl. Anyway, get back to studying. Uh, yes, okay. Get back to studying the Food menu. Food study. You had to study the menu, because we don't know what to eat. Welcome to the sauce station at Panda Hot Pot. I am going to make something very delicious. Ooh. Very important to have the right sauce for your lamb, your meat. It is kind of like Korean barbecue. You don't eat pork belly with the same sauce. You don't eat Wagyu beef with the same sauce. Everything is different. The beauty of having this is that I can choose my favorite things and make a crazy Chinese concoction of Chinese sauces. I always do a Jimmy satay with peanut butter. Mix it together, that's more than enough. But here they have their own peanut butter sauce and look how thick this is. Damn. Am I allowed to taste it? No. Can I, can I just taste it from the spoon? You can taste it from here, but uh, not from Okay, so you gotta share here. You know what? I'm just gonna go double peanut. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah, boy. Look at that mushroom sauce. Oh, that looks really good too. You know what? I'll make two. I'll make two sauces. All right. This one, I'll grab this mushroom sauce because that looks good. It's like a spicy, oily mushroom concoction. Oh, yeah. This one can be my real Chinese one. I'll put these in. Chopped peanuts as well. I love the peanuts. Um, I'm gonna grab some of these spring onions and also oh. garlic. Bit of garlic, not too much. Don't wanna go overboard. Bit of soy sauce on top. So to complete my peanut butter one, you gotta put satay right there. Bang. 
Those are my two sauces. Let's see. Wow. So we've ordered all our food. Yes. Very excited. One thing that I've noticed is that it is not as pricey or expensive as I thought. Yeah. We've definitely been to hot pot places which were double the price. I think we've ordered about at least $300 worth of food, yeah. which is what which we're is going for. Which is not that bad. Yeah. If it's delicious. I mean, that treasure box itself was what? Around $40? Yeah. That's affordable. Price. With hot pot, I don't usually eat sauce because I feel like when you dip the food in the soup base already, it's already really good. It's enough for you. Whereas mine is more bland, it's like a mushroom sauce. Yours is very spicy, it has yeah. all the flavor that you need I already. I feel like when you choose a spicy soup base, you don't really need sauce mm. because the flavors are all there already. Yeah. Our vegetables have arrived. This is Delena's. It is the Chinese cabbage. Yes, the only vegetable I eat. It's very white, you can't see it in that lighting, but there's cabbage there. I mean, it's really clean. <laughs> it's, it's like camouflage. I got myself some bean curd, so fried cute. bean curds. These I are amazing. They, were egg rolls. they, they look are so definitely pretty. higher end fried bean curds. I've never seen sure. them like this before. Ooh. Never. This way is the beef skewer. Oh, that is so cute. It's marinated beef sauces and the milk is to mix together. It can make the beef more tender. Oh right, okay, thank you. Wow, there you go. So you get milk with this to make the beef more tender. Oh, that is crazy. Love heart fish balls. She's loving that. I am actually loving this. I love We're fish impressed. tofu with hot pots and they usually come in, you know, the rectangle square ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've boring, never seen this. Boring shapes. In a heart shape before. Wow, look at that. Seafood platter placed on top of what seems to be a shell from the beach. So on this seafood platter, you got scallops, mussels, oysters, prawns. Wow, look at that, a little squid. Look at my lamb and beef platter. Wow. This is what I love about Hot Pot. Yes. Is that the table gets full and it looks very, very good. That looks incredible. This guy, look at this guy. Oh, oh wow. That is crazy, guys. And inside, the only treasure that I want, food for the hot pot. Incredible. That is amazing. Look at all that dry ice they use. Fantastic. Oh my goodness, what is that? The premium Wagyu. Yes. Yes, that looks so good. I also have a friend sitting next to me today. He's right here. <laughs> it's my baby. And uh, on the other side of the meat, uh, noodles and vegetables down here. Not important, not important at all. It is time to eat. We, we have, have a eating. massive feast here and I've been salivating. That is insane. That is so thick. Thick Sichuan chilies. I don't know if it's okay for me to be I'll drinking grab this it. Skewer and put it right there. Let's try not to lose that skewer. <laughs> When I sipped it in, it was like, I felt it go down my throat. Oh, dang. So oh, it was just from smelling it. Watermelon. Was that no, from I tasting sipped it? it? You sipped it? Yeah, I sipped it, but then the, the, it was so spicy that all the spices went down my throat and it was like uh, fighting each other down there. Right. I feel like it will taste good when I actually eat it with meat and not drink it on its right. own. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do is try out this treasure box of meats. Look at these rose petals of beef. Look at that presentation, fantastic. I'm gonna put that straight into the hot pot. And if you look at the menu, it tells you, oh, I lost it, okay. It's gone. This piece of meat is <laughs> surprisingly very big and thick. I'm gonna dip it into that mushroom sauce that I made previously, wow. Look at that, hell yeah. Okay, cheers guys. Panda hot pot. <laughs> Guys, I was expecting very chewy, very tough, but it was so soft. I can't believe something so big and thick can be so easily eaten. And I can really taste that mushroom soup. Fantastic. It's so dang good. Oh. And that sauce I made, I'm taking the whole bowl home. It was so good, so creamy that sauce. Ah oh, man, I'm already gonna miss this place and I just started. I am trying the 
Wagyu beef slices. They're all lying on a bed of ice. And you know what? A bucket of ice, I would say. That is insane presentation. It's like a cauldron, a red cauldron full of ice with six slices of beef on top. Look at it. It's literally just no way. in that. And that cooks so yeah. fast. You know what else is very impressive is the temperature of this soup. It's not overly too hot. I think it's like the perfect temp for cooking this kind of meat. <laughs> that is slathered in chili oil. I don't know how you eat that. You're crazy. And there's a crazy option as well. You should have went crazy hot. I wouldn't be able to enjoy it if, if I Simon went crazy. If here, they would have went crazy hot. It would have been so funny. So good, so fatty. Oh, with this soup base, I can just taste the spice. Mm. Oh man, you know what? Yum. Very envious right now, so I'm also going to join you with that meat. You're gonna oh, try a different delicious. one now? That's delicious, that's delicious. You're gonna try this one? I'm gonna try this one now. Just need to dunk it in for a little bit and it's already ready to go. Man, already a massive difference compared to the affordable hot pot. The oh. meat there, you give the food to a chef to cook, Everything's uh, overcooked, I would say. Whereas here, the real way of eating a hot pot is cooking it and controlling how you want the meat to be. Oh yeah, that meat's good. I lost it. Oh, there it is. But to be honest, that this rose one is better. Oh, really? It's better, yeah. I don't know why. Something about it. It's really thick and funny. Oh, well, these chopsticks are like so big. It's really hard yeah. for me to use them. I like them. Oh, yes. Just here, please. Thank you so much. I just ordered myself some rice. So these guys. are just the normal beef and lamb slices. I'm trying the beef one now. So that's the fancy one. Here we got the regular style. How does it compare? Mm, it's... <laughs> that's spice. That's spice. That's spice. It's delicious insane. though. It's good, but I do like the wagyu meat better. This is amazing. This is how we're supposed to eat hot pot. This is the real yes. way to eat it getting ingredients, having fun, cooking it yourself at your own temperature. If I want it medium rare, I can get it half cooked. Easy. Want it well done? Easy. But it's a lot slower eating this way, that's for sure. All right, guys, I know I've said this before, hot pot is not my go-to. I don't love it that much, but this is pretty much on the same level as Japanese shabu shabu. That experience of umami, food, the flavors, taste, everything. Even this restaurant itself, it's so beautiful. I mean, eating here, I feel like a food emperor right now. I'm gonna say it and it feels great. This is my seafood platter. I'm going straight for that scallop. Look at that big, fat, juicy scallop. Whoa. It is so good. Oh, smells fresh. I'm gonna dunk it in. I put a skewer in here before and I have lost it. So, the, oh, oh, there it is. I found it. So these are the panda skewers that I got from over there. They have these, which you can just whatever you want. Oh. Oh yeah. That's crazy. I've never had skewered meat dipped into a hot pot before, but it does retain its spiciness. And that's got some of the <coughs> some of the spices that you <coughs> So these skewers are definitely way too hot for me. They're very spicy, full of that Sichuan flavor. Wow. Another thing I've noticed is that the waiters and waitresses here always walking around, helping us out, giving us tips on how to eat and also lowering the temperature of the soup when it's too hot or increasing it when it needs to be. Big juicy scallop. Let's go. Oh man. So good, man. The seafood is so fresh, so delicious that I feel like I, I can definitely eat it raw like a sashimi almost. Maybe not Koro Sensei spawn. Uh, I'm gonna chuck that right in. We're gonna also get these mussels. Chuck that straight in. You know what? Can you chuck the whole thing in? It's better like this. While I wait for that to cook, I'm gonna have some of this treasure box meat. Not sure what that is. Looks like some sort of liver or tongue. Liver? I don't, I don't think liver looks like that. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put this one in this mushroom sauce that I created before. Let's go. That is very, almost like jelly. So usually tongue is very tough to eat. Not easy at all. But that one, it's like gelatin. It's weird, it's very strange. That's why I'm not sure what it is. You know what I'm gonna ask? 
the pig kidney. Oh, pig kidney. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Sorry. Right. I was close. Liver is kind of close to the kidney, am I right? But definitely um, not the tongue because it is very easy to eat. Almost melt worthy. Uh, a strange taste to it. I've never had pig kidney before. <laughs> anyway, let's eat some stuff that I know. Beef. I'm gonna dip it into that delicious peanut sauce. Oh, wow, look at that. With my bowl of rice. What I love about it is the soup, the sauces get on top. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, what more can I say? I'm so happy right now. One of the first and only times where I wanna just turn off the camera and just eat and not film anything and just enjoy myself. Oh, but for you guys, I gotta film. <laughs> and this one's for you. Ready guys? Three, two, one. Cheers. Hey. Okay, so now Delena's just gonna pop in all the ingredients, the yes. noodles, the vegetables. Are those hand cut noodles? Cause they look amazing. Sweet potato noodles, yep. and those are the handmade noodles. Right, yes. So I'll shove some of Let's those. Let's go, yep. These are really big though, so I just want to break them into halves. Looks like a black chicken skin or something. Ooh. You know what? The first time for everything, I had kidney today. I'm going to try Look, some new stuff white. as well. it's white. Yep. Dunk it in. Oh. It just changes instantly. Wow. You would not be disappointed. I think it's a lot better than this one, that's oh. for sure. I think this one is the Wagyu and that one is the prime cut meat. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that eye oh, widen. Oh, so good. That's literally the best one. Where is it? It's next to you. Oh, that's delicious. Strategically placed next to me. So I can eat more. It's so meaty, but it's not tough. And you get that fatty pieces with the meat too. And it's so delicious. Yeah. That's definitely a reaction you didn't get from the Japanese Nikuo. That is so delicious. This. Try this. The rose petal one. Ooh. You will not be disappointed with that either. Oh, okay. Because, oh no, I contaminated. <laughs> no, look at it. You should try some of mine. I am, I just did. It's so spicy, man. Holy cow. I think I should film you trying a piece of meat from it though. <coughs> well, can you sip some soup? I'll try some of yours and you can try some of mine. No, 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 I can't. I just had a little bit on the, uh, on the chopsticks just on the little tip there and it's so dang spicy. It just like attacks my throat straight away. Jackie Chan fly kicks me in the throat every time I eat that soup. So oh, this wow. one is this one here with the milk. <coughs> oh. oh man, don't mind me. Sorry, I don't know how you eat that. I really do not know how. I had a fingertip. That like, was? This not one. bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna already call it. One of my favorite hot pot restaurants. Whoa. I'm gonna say it. I mean, there aren't a lot of good hot pot places in Melbourne. But that's not the reason why, okay? Because I'm comparing it to Japanese shabu. I'm uh, comparing it to okay. other yep. hot pot kind of places too. This yeah. place is amazing. Anyway. It's really good so far. Try the rose one. So you expect like a chewy, it's a thick cut of meat. How good can it be? Oh. It is like soft jelly. Wow. <laughs> not bad, right? I mean, it's not as good as the Wagyu, of course, but for what it is, I'm impressed. I like this one, this one, the treasure box, and the one that's next to you. You guys can watch Delana eat while I gorge in the background. Oh, yes. Oh. Wow. Man, that is the best bean curd I have ever that's had. That's right. Not like the frozen fish tofu that I'm used to eating. It's like legit. It's like, this is incredible. I mean, look at it. Very thin, very soft. Amazing, amazing. Oh, here's that black thing that I put in before. Let's try this out, guys. Oh my God. I think it was chicken skin or something. Really? Look at that prawn. Babe, do you love me? Yeah, do you want me to peel it for you? 
Yes, please. Here, put it here. I'll oh, wait till it cools down. So much. I want to try. Um... Guys, get your girl that peels prawns for you. That's that's when you know she's the one. Uh, excuse me, don't. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to try uh, your soup base. You should try a bit of mine. What? My soup. I. I... <laughs> I'm getting mad now, because I tried it, no, and it killed like, me. With, like, you, I'll dip in a piece of meat. No, I can't. I oh, can't. really? I'll do it for the vlog. Yeah, I think you should do it for the vlog. All right. So basically, you're asking, can you feel me eat spice and cough a lot and die? That's what you're asking me right now, which I'm down for. Hi there. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate okay. it. I don't know. That's all good. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, no, no, let's go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, we just met some uh, viewers. Very lovely people. Uh, we love it when you guys say hi. So the viewers that we just met, they came up to us and told us that this is also their favorite hot pot place. They've never been to anywhere better. Yeah. So that's when you know. And there is truth behind that because I'm thoroughly impressed by this place. This is definitely a place I'll go back to 100%. And remember, if you guys are coming here, make sure you book early because it is booked out most of the time. You can imagine how many people want to come here. Mm, that sweet potato noodle. Oh my god. Is it good? It's so squishy. You have to try some. I'm never really this, impressed by this. I really these, like this. I'll give it a go. Oh, it's so good. I want to try some of yours because I just um, need to chill out from that spicy <laughs> Look at that. That's a prime Is it focusing? Cut. Can you click on it, please? This wagyu cut here, look at that. It just cooks so fast. And it melts away. Mm. It is pretty good, too. Yeah. Oh, I need to dip this in the spicy one, for sure. Dip it in my peanut sauce. Oh, oh yeah. You know, guys, we always just try to find you the best places. And what I love is that you know, we bump into our viewers here as well, so you know we all have like the same taste. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of noodles. <laughs> Those are some spicy. Can you see this, guys? Look, at, it's that... just like with all the chili. Wait, wait, well. let me lift it up. This is insane. Okay. Look at that. That is so dense, full of chili oils and flavor. Are you gonna eat that? Yes. The restaurant's pretty much closing up and we have to leave in 20 minutes, so we're gonna eat as much as we can. We'll see you outside for our final review. Yeah, but I Sorry, can say it already. Sorry, we can't continue eating with you guys. And a hot pot, one of the best, one of the best. All right, see you real soon. Bye. Panda hot pot. So And that was Panda hot pot. Yay. Oh, what can I say? I'm speechless. Easily my top three hot pot places that I've ever been to. Fantastic, I loved it. It was so magical. It was so beautiful. And the food, of course, was some of the best that I ever had. I thought it was mm. really good. The service yeah. was amazing. 100%. Everyone was so nice. It made it feel like we were eating hot pot at home. So it was yeah. a really comfortable experience. Yeah. Food was delicious. And I'm just very, very happy overall. And I will come back with my friends and my family. I felt like an emperor. I felt like royalty in there, to be honest. Felt like eating hot pot at a Chinese kingdom. So delicious. Yeah. But how does it compare to an affordable hot pot place? Well, mm, I think everything about this hot pot place was perfect. The traditional Chinese way of eating hot pot with the Sichuan spices, the delicious meat, cooking it yourself, it's all part of the experience. And it was oh so good. I loved it. For me, expensive is the way to go. Yes, right? I also agree because yes. you are paying extra for the meat quality yeah. and the food is also a lot better. Mm. So definitely the expensive hot pot. The expensive, the luxury for hot pot. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. We'll Yay. see you real Thank soon. Thank you for eating with us always and on to the next week's adventure. Bye. 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 What? Fat boy? Kelvin? Kelvin? Fat boy? Yes. Oh, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey guys. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello.